Good deal, guys. So welcome to the weekly huddle. This is actually our first meeting inside of the new office. It's been a marathon. We've been working overtime to get this thing ready, but we're here. We're here standing at the finish line and ready to, ready to launch, ready for takeoff. We're gonna continue doing what we're doing, but we're gonna start to have more of an emphasis on the content aspect, right? So just taking the everyday hustle and grind, finding houses, flipping houses, but then recording and documenting the process. And as we do that, we're gonna establish more JV relationships, more credibility. Um, we already have a pretty strong presence and market authority here locally, but we're looking to expand that reach. So a lot of the focus moving forward is gonna be just multiplying our productivity and figuring out how we can accomplish more. So going back to this, this is the motto of like this whole quarter this whole year, honestly. Build a team so strong that you don't know who the boss is, right? This body has many moving parts. So as we come together, we bring different skill sets to the table. We can, we can come together, right? And with that synergy, with more energy and more strengths and talents and gifts as they, they combine, that's how you, you create a greater whole, right? So we're really trying to, to build some massive momentum as we're coming out the gate this first quarter of 2021. Teamwork is a big emphasis of that. So jumping off of that, how can we empower one another, right? This is a daily thing. Coming out of this post COVID or in the middle of COVID world, um, a lot of us are missing that community, right? We're, we're missing that sense of, of culture where we can come together, inspire, impact, and help one another grow. So. A big focus as well as we come into the new office is going to be, you know, how can we, we breed a culture of, of strong community, right? How can we come together as a unit in order to reach a common goal, right? Decentralized command, jumping off of that, that's a military term, but really it's just broken down in its simplest form to, to having clear job roles, right? Communication as a unit and giving different individuals leadership opportunities within where they can, you know, take an idea, take a vision, and they can run with that, right? So Trey's gonna be stepping a little more into an integrator seat. He'll still be closing deals, still running acquisitions, but we're gonna start to kind of pivot a little bit more as we take on more responsibilities and trying to get him rolling these ideas out. Accountability, guys, it's been a big thing we've always talked about in the past, but keeping a scorecard, right? So this is like daily, weekly metrics. And as we add those up over a month, we can identify what's converting and what's not, right? So out of the amount of cold calls that we make each and every day, how many leads do we get out of that? And for every lead that comes into the pipeline, how many of those convert to a deal? Because as we begin to track those leads, right, on a scorecard, that helps us to have more of a laser sharp focus where we can really dial in and have more of an impact. And instead of just throwing money, like shotgun marketing approach, we can dial in and have a laser sharp focus on the things that are really working, right? And then communication, again, that's a, a big focus of ours is how do we have consistent communication across all platforms as a team, right? We got the acquisition side, we have the content side, we have dispositions, we have marketing, so many different moving parts that a lot can get lost in translation, right? Which is again where decentralized command comes in and we can really dial in and identify how we can operate better and move as a unit. Dialing in acquisitions. This is a big focus and now that we're really utilizing the CRM and using the heartbeat tasks, this is something that's gonna really, really, really start to build that, right? So. We're gonna be launching another direct mail campaign, dropping massive amounts of mail pieces. So between Trey and Devante, you guys are gonna be basically juggling those as they come in. And as you clear each heartbeat as it comes in, um, basically it's gonna pop up probably both the names on that as a lead. But after you take that first initial action as a task, then you can clear the other person's name or whatever so it's sticking to you, your running point on that lead moving forward. Closing more deals, um, guys, we're building good momentum, but in the midst of rehabbing the new house, rehabbing the office, we've not taken our foot off of the gas, 
with the marketing, but we haven't spent and released a lot of money in marketing. We've just been using the data that we already have. Um, PPC has not really been performing, so we're gonna pivot that into more direct mail. Um, but we're still, we got a lot in the pipeline, a lot line, lined up for March. Now we just gotta fill it up and stack that for, for April, May, and approaching the summertime. So in closing more deals, um, I want this to be a, a two-way process, right? So one, it's systematizing and really setting a good structure for how we're implementing that, which between Trey and Devante, we already really got a good system doing that. I wanna document the process of we're doing it, right? Because we have a lot of new investors, a lot of people out here in the world that are looking to scale their life to the next level. They need the tools and the strategies in order to get from where they are to where they wanna be. So we're gonna be standing in the gap, adding value, helping these investors grow, giving them the tools, showing them the roadmap, and as a result, it's gonna create more opportunities for us, right? The secret to living is giving. So the more that we can give back and literally just show the roadmap, the more opportunity it creates for us, right? So this might mean putting together training modules, more digital marketing, more content, podcasts, interviews, YouTube, you name it, right? We're gonna be out here. Um, closing more deals, we have to make more calls and more texts, right? So every lead that comes in, every person needs to get touched. And we've already talked about the lead buckets, right? We got hot, warm, and cold. Every single lead needs to fall into one of those lead buckets in order to identify the process moving forward, right? Hot leads are gonna convert quick. That's only about 20% or less of our deals. 80% of the deals are gonna come from our warm and cold leads through consistent follow-up, right? Just like direct mail usually takes five to seven touches to get conversion, so does your communication and contact with the seller after they're in our pipeline, right? So say we got a cold call lead that comes through, boom, we get one touch, and they're not super interested, kind of on the fence, and then it just fault it, you know, it kind of starts sinking in the CRM and it's never seen again. So figuring out a good system and a strategy as we roll this out is gonna help us be more effective. Um, clearly defined roles, we're already pretty clear. There's a couple of positions we gotta fill like a transaction coordinator, quite possibly depending where we end up going, maybe dispositions, but acquisitions looking good. Contract management, we need a little bit of work. And at the end of the day, consistency breeds results. So just developing daily disciplines to make the calls. Whether you be cold calling, right? Tip is tearing it up in cold calling. I guarantee we got five to seven deals somewhere there in the Jackson market, but we just gotta get a little bit more focus and a little bit more clear to dial in and pull those out of the CRM. And of course, forge strong relationships out there beyond just hedge funds, right? But getting some solid, solid local buyers as well. And then company culture. Briefly touched on this earlier, but I wanna, I wanna create a safe place here, right? I want to give leadership opportunities. I wanna empower one another where we can elevate our game, right? And as we build that confidence, we start to elevate even more. The one, one, one resounding factor that I'm gonna tell you guys that determines your ultimate success is belief. If you believe something in your heart, it's already yours, right? But you have to believe it. You can't have a shadow of doubt. You have to believe beyond that shadow of a doubt and know that you know that you know you're capable of anything, right? And then you just literally get the vision, put it together, break it down into goals, bite-sized chunks, create a roadmap on how to get there. So empowering leaders from within, that's a goal, right? We wanna train and equip so we can go out there and make a massive impact. And that's our next point, right? How do we make an impact? Inspiring others through our actions. I wanna get more involved in service projects, whether it be you know some cookouts out here, we could feed the homeless, we could you know do a, a clothing drive, lots of cool opportunities where we're not just me focused, trying to make money, make a quick buck, but we're actually impact driven, right? How can we make a difference? That's gonna be a big focus now that these key things are in place. Now that we have home base here, that's, that's where it's gonna come into play. And then just discovering unique gifts, right? I encourage each and every one of you guys just really dive in deep 
and think about what is your superpower, right? What are you great at? What are you passionate about? And how can you take those two things in order to drive more results? Bringing out those strengths and exercising that power, guys, is going to be one of the big, big, big things that's gonna help us break through this season. REI movement, right? That's, that's the big coin term that we're running with, real estate investing movement. So we're gonna to come together collectively. We're gonna to top shop. And the goal is to lead the industry with vision, right? We wanna know where we're going and we wanna know how to hit those targets, right? And as a result, we're gonna bring others with us, right? We're gonna bring others with us. We're gonna show them the, the tips and the tricks, get them in the fast lane to success. And we're gonna, we're gonna put Columbia, South Carolina on the map. That's the goal. Three steps, vision, action, results, right? It's, everything starts with a vision. In fact, everything was created twice. You guys have probably heard me say it before, right? But it all starts in your imagination. After you have that clear vision, the next thing is action. And the only thing standing between where you are and where you wanna be is what? The amount of action you're willing to take. You're, you're standing somewhere in this gap, right? Of past, future, where you're trying to get. Action is what's gonna to lead to those results. So we need to take massive action. We need to have a really good plan, right? But execution, action is where it all comes to play. So as far as really dialing in acquisitions, lead flow, Alex, we've already been in the process of this. It's coming together. Um, I need to provide you with a really good spreadsheet, but tallying up all the leads for each week. This help up, helps us to track the KPIs and really identify what is converting, what's not. So how many leads are coming in, right? We already touched on this, how many contracts? What are our best performing marketing channels, right? Cold calling has actually stepped up. I think it has a lot to do with the quality of lists that we're using. Because in the past, we call a crap ton of people, but we weren't getting as many leads and deals through the call. We were getting a lot of leads, but not as many deals through the cold calls. And it was a lot more PPC, but it's, it's like it's reversed. Yeah. So that's a big, big thing too, is really seeing where we're at, where are we going in the industry and being able to pivot, right? Because what I'm seeing being a digital marketer is Google knows their value. The market is on a still an upswing, right? Like we're looking at the hottest real estate market probably ever, right? So as a result, you got more people flooding the space thinking that they wanna do the exact same thing that we are. One of those things where the getting's a little bit too good, right, you're towards, towards the top of the market. But I'll tell you what, cost per lead for Google AdWords is going way up. Lots of competition out there. It's a red ocean, right? Lots of blood, lots of people fighting over the same scraps. So what we need to do is get a little bit smarter and how do we see these little key points that everyone else is missing, right? How do we find gaps in the market? Creative marketing techniques, right? That's where we're gonna dive in. A Little bit more emphasis on driving for dollars too. We'll talk about that as a team later. Areas to improve. I'm gonna leave this one open for, for everyone. What areas do you think that as a team collectively we need to improve with most? And you could even go as far as what areas do you think you as an individual could, could use more improvement? Team-wise, um, I just think we need to just focus on communication once we get all the systems in place. Because once we do that, as long as we keep, keep it open, open-ended, you know, communication, back and forth between each of us. We'll continue to, you know, hit these goals and start gaining traction and yep. gaining that momentum that we had in the past. So um, as long as we do that, we'll be, we'll be good. Um, but individually, I think I just need to focus more, more on, you know, setting those systems up. Yeah. Like, like we were talking about yesterday, each week have one thing that I'm focusing on besides, you know, acquisitions and just implementing that into the business. Let's dive in with that a little bit. You touched on it a little yesterday, um, but talk, talk about like incremental improvement, right? So if we improve 1% every single day for 100 days or for a full year, that's one to 300% improvement, right? Right. So talk about your idea on how you think we can get a little better with that. Yeah, so touching on your point about creative marketing, um, I think we need to first 
you know, focus on like email marketing campaign. So get that built out for one week. You know, the second week we can focus on reaching out to past sellers um, and seeing if we can do some testimonials, whether it's print or video. Um, third week we can look at, you know, recording some content like when it comes to either like reaching out to our whole database in the CRM, just downloading that, record a video commitment script and also the referral script. So I need to come up with that script for the referrals and blast those out to everybody. I like it. So, and then, you know, I'm always open for the suggestions, but those are just some of the few that I was thinking about in my mind. Yeah, um, yeah we don't realize like, so every, every single lead has some type of value, right? Each person is raising their hand one way or another, whether it be answering a cold call saying, yeah, I might be interested in selling a house or calling a direct mail piece, whatever, or shopping Google, right? Someone's raising their hand. So identifying that person's best mode of communication, right? Which many people text message is the new phone call. People just want to just talk over text. But you know what Trey is saying, if we go the extra mile, which no one else is doing, we record a company commitment video saying, hey, this is who we are, this is what we do as an organization. Our promise to you as a home seller is this, this, and that, right? Quick close, fast cash in your pocket, simple process where we, we facilitate, we handle the whole transaction from beginning to end, right? That, that's just a quick example. But if we can get that on video where it's recorded, it's clean, that builds that extra layer of credibility where if a seller is talking to two or three people, guess who's standing out? And guess who's gonna walk out with the contract? The company that's about their business, right? So outside of just being on the hamster wheel, right? Cause we can hustle all day. Hustle is one of the big coin terms of this generation, but how do we have a deeper focus, right? How do we find those gaps? And work smarter. Yeah. And then you pair that, just when it comes to being the market authority, you pair that with the TV commercial we have. Mm -hmm. Hitting people with direct mail, email marketing, tips, commercials, like all of that is gonna, you know, bring, just basically grow our brand in everyone's face. Yeah. <laughs> so even if they don't think about it on a daily, of course, they aren't gonna do that. Um, it's gonna be in their subconscious. So if they know anyone or if they are looking to sell, our name is gonna be the first that pops up in our That's really good. So, right. That's my thoughts. And that's our direct seller marketing, right? Right. We also got a whole nother side of the business, which is joint venture relationship marketing, right? Mm -hmm. Which value first, if we can give them the roadmap, right? We give them the tools, we'll even open up shop and have a small mastermind in the office, right? Come on, we'll open up the floodgates. You guys want to be with the movement? Let's get with the movement, right? And all of a sudden people just coming in, you know, show me this, show me that. Guess what? They find that first deal, they might need help walking through the comps or having some different angles with negotiations because let's be honest, negotiations is ninja, ninja tactics, right? But the more we can help them grow, boom, that's a whole nother pillar. And um, me and Devante were talking about it yesterday. Those people who want to come in and learn the ropes, we can in turn some of the people who were kind of, you know, a little hesitant to go out there on their own we can bring them in the fold like we spoke about as cold callers. Mm -hmm. So if they're hungry and ready to get to work, they'll jump in, hop on the dollar, any deal that they come through that we close on, you know, that's a kickback for them. Yep. And yep. in turn, they'll create that JV relationship. You know? Free education. <laughs> exactly. Unless you're making money. Exchanging like, value for value. Most people <laughs> pay tons of money to be in a mentorship or a mastermind or a coaching group, right? So if we're opening up the office, giving them everything that they need, they're generating leads, we'll help them facilitate the deal pose, and boom, they get a kickback with percentage. That's huge. Yeah. That's huge. Yep. And that's two pillars, and then we got education pillar, right? So training courses, digital marketing, those things will come down the line. But shoot, if we can build four or five pillars, boom, that's a strong building that's gonna stand, right? If we're just going off of one thing, like if you just 
out here wholesaling, don't get me wrong, there's some, there's some wholesaling groups that crush it. We crush it. But if that's the only means of monetization, especially as we're going into a market downturn, mm -hmm. likely middle to the end of this year, if that's the only tool in the tool belt, might lose. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Creative financing strategies are gonna be big. So really figuring that pivot, guys, and just building pillars. That's why we're here. We wanna, we wanna build pillars. So consistency breeds results. We touched on this already. You guys already know the drill, right? Consistency is the key to any success, right? If we're not out there, if we're not making the calls, we're not gonna get the deals, right? If we're not having call conversations, we're not opening up more opportunities. Fall in love with the process and identify how we can refine our craft, right? The only thing, the only, the only obstacle is you, right? We, we are the greatest obstacle standing in our way. So I guess focus points for this week is just closing the deal. Um, we, we're closers, right? That's what we do. Our main focus is acquisitions, closing, getting contracts. So streamlining the process. Took us a long time to get on board with it, but now that we're doing utilizing the heartbeats in the CRN, right, boom following through that process. It's already built out, it's already systematized. So every single lead gets touched in a streamlined fashion and that is leading to greater results, right? So I have a question here, how can we improve? And the answer's sitting right in front of us, right? We just do the work, that's it. And then lastly, let's celebrate the biggest wins. What were the biggest wins for for this week. I know we're just, we're, we'll celebrate last week. We're one day into this week. One is moving into the office for us. But as far as like lead generation acquisitions, what, what would you guys say the biggest, biggest win was? Um, for last week, just getting confirmation that um, all but one of the contracts we have are in escrow. So that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> that's yeah. a beautiful thing. Cause I mean, you, it's one thing to lock them up, but then that's another to turn around and actually get it sold and closed. That's them. a good point. Yeah. All but one. And now that one that we have is a cheap property. So I think we'll be able to sell it. Yeah. We'll just drop the price. Good deal. So next time when you guys come in, um, I bought a bunch of sticky notes and I want to kind of open up conversation, open up, idea, we'll call it like an idea bank, but I want to have different sections, right? For like, um, you know, acquisitions, improvements, or, you know, prospecting, whatever. And we're each going to write down different ideas on sticky notes and we're going to start to paste them on the wall, right? We'll maybe we'll take five to 10 ideas each and we'll let them sit on the wall for a minute. We'll all sit down at this conference table and we'll just open up, open up the room and we'll talk about it and we'll say, hey, tell us about this idea. Tell us about this vision, right? Because the more we can collaborate and bring these ideas together, it's gonna open up those opportunities, right? So I want you guys to have a voice in, in building these pillars, right? And creating these strategies and developing new ideas that we can come together and be more effective. So when we come in next week, if you guys are able to make it in, that's going to be the goal, right? It's going to be an interactive activity just to get people engaged. Um, and we can get out here and just start casting ideas, casting vision, and really dialing in where we want to go the rest of the year. You guys stay posted. See you on the other side.